Look how cute you guys are. 818 gifting came in. Unlock into the world of 818. Hey everyone and welcome to the channel. Now let's get into the video. Kendall Jenner is one of the least talked about people in the Kardashian-Jenner family, but that is all changing now. And in this video, we are taking a look at Kendall Jenner being accused of copying a tequila brand. Yay, so cute. Number seven, ripping off tequila brand. If you didn't know, Kendall Jenner launched her own line of tequila in 2021, but as with everything her family does, there was a bit of controversy around it. After the initial wave of that controversy had died down, another company added some fuel to the dying fire. The brand called Tequila 512 claimed that Kendall Jenner was copying their brand design and naming scheme. This is because her tequila was called Tequila 818, and the similarity between those two names is very obvious. But those aren't the only similarities between the two brands, so let's take a look at some more, shall we? Jenner of stealing their idea but it does point out the obvious, undeniable similarities to Kilo 512. Number six, poorer quality. After posting about their brand being ripped off, they also added that there were multiple things that were wrong with what Kindle was doing. One shocking fact that was revealed by the company claiming plagiarism was that the two supposedly different bottles of tequila were made in the same distillery in Mexico. This means that even the source of the tequila was the same in both cases, but that isn't even the kicker. The brand added further details about the quality of the tequila that was being sold by the two of them. They said that while their tequila was being distilled three times, Kendall's tequila was being distilled twice. In this case, the owner means that due to being distilled more times, their tequila was better. Whether or not that is actually the case is up to the people drinking it, but it does seem like a lot more effort is being put into Tequila 512. I like beer. It's drink not your drink much. of choice, I get it. Number five, higher price. In the list of complaints made by the brand, they also said that the bottles being sold by Kendall Jenner were twice as expensive as theirs. This wouldn't have been a problem since it is a given at this point that anything sold by the Kardashian-Jenner family is going to be overpriced. But since Kendall is offering tequila with a supposedly worse quality at a higher price, it does seem like a morally wrong thing to do. But due to the influence of their social media presence, nothing came of this plagiarism accusation. Number four, Launching a tequila. When Kendall first launched her tequila, she had no idea what was going to happen. As is custom in their family, many famous faces were present at the launch party of her brand. She even posted some videos of them cheering her and drinking her new tequila. But as soon as she had made the announcement, the controversy started. Number three, initial controversy. When she first launched the brand, she was hit with a lot of tweets on social media, calling her out for appropriating Mexican culture. The main argument that was being made online was that since Kendall wasn't Mexican, she shouldn't be taking any part in their activities. People online were considering her actions as gentrification. Another complaint that was common among the tweets was that due to this new company, the smaller businesses who were also making the same tequila would be put out of business. This is a valid concern, but it seems like it all fell on deaf ears because Kendall moved on with the launch anyway. Number two, other reactions. 818 tequila as if there was agave growing in Calabasas. It says Blanco tequila. No, it's tequila Blanco. Aside from the initial controversy and the claims of plagiarism, there were a lot of reactions to this news. As usual, some of her fans defended her by reminding the public that many other celebrities had their own lines of tequila as well, and they weren't from a Mexican background either. This would seem like the Kardashian-Jenner family is facing a double standard over how things are done in the industry, but there is a very clear reason for why they are being called out. Number 1. History of such activities One of the main reasons why Kendall Jenner is facing so much backlash about this is due to what she and other members of her family have done in the past. For example, at one point in time, both Kendall and Kylie had braided their hair into cornrows, but neglected to call it that. Since they weren't African American, they faced a lot of backlash for this as well, and was yet another example of them appropriating another culture. The only other big controversy that Kendall has faced was when she made the infamous Pepsi commercial, which was called Tone Deaf. These were some of the details of Kendall launching her tequila and facing criticism for doing so. After all that happened, this was just another day for the Kardashian-Jenner family. That brings us to the end of the video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell so you don't miss out on future videos. If you enjoyed the content, then do leave a like. So until next time, take care and goodbye!